Okay, so the last one I explained, um, that's what I explained is pretty simple. It's very used to using the distributed property. The next thing without kicking people, what I'd like to show you is one thing to remember, one word. FOIL. FOIL. And what FOIL represents is what terms I want you to multiply by. FOIL, the F, stands for first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the first two terms. So you just do negative 4x times negative 4x times x. Okay? That's going to equal a negative 4. What happens when you multiply x times x? x squared. Okay? The O in FOIL represents outside. So now what I do is I just multiply the outer terms. Okay, the ones that are on like the outside of your two binomials. So that's going to be negative 4x times 2. Well, negative 4x times 2 is going to give you negative 8x. Okay? I represents inside. So I take my two terms that are the inner two terms, which is negative 5 and x. So I just do negative 5 times x. Well, guys, a number times a variable, negative 5 times x is just going to be negative 5x. And then lastly, we have L, which is for last. So you look at the binomial, and the last two terms are negative 5 and 2. So I multiply negative 5 times 2. And negative 5 times 2 equals negative 10. So now what I can do is I can just rewrite all my answers together. So I have a negative 4x squared minus 8x minus 5x minus 10. So now you just take all of your answers and you write out all the answers together. Then we look, can we simplify this anymore? Are there any terms we can combine? Are there any monomials that have the exact same base and exact same exponent? We look at the squared, x squared. Are there any other x squared? No. Do I have any other x's though to the first power? Yeah, I have two of them. So let's combine them. If I owe $8 and I borrow five more, I now owe $13. So negative 8x minus 5x is a negative 13x. And then the 10 I can't simplify with anything else. So this final answer is a negative 4x squared minus 13x minus 10. Yes, Jason? I have a question. Yes. Um, I solved it before you got done. I got negative 4x plus negative 13x. I mean negative 4x squared plus negative 13x. Does that still be right? Negative 4x squared minus 13x. But I got plus negative 13x. Oh, yeah, remember. 7 plus a negative 4 is the same thing as 7 minus 4. Right. right? So, yeah, then this works for that, and then it's just minus 10. So that's your final answer. Cool? That's All right. Bro. There you go. Done.